Hello, this is Beta Ray Ben for Pixel Spank, and today I'm playing Lake. It's very calming. There's gentle lapping water. There's soothing, subtle music that just tickles the soul in a pleasing fashion. I assume it's some sort of zombie survival game. I, I I'm going to throw out the term walking simulator. Uh, I don't mean that in an offensive way, which some people take it to be. I'm thinking like gone home vibes. Uh, I'm I'm assuming at least three of the letters in the in the LGBTQ plus. Maybe not. Oh, here we go. It's funny how a program designed to help organize your life is the reason why I can't pee at the Labor Day party. But I'm glad we made the deadline. And I'm glad I can now spend two stress-free weeks in good old Providence Oaks. Oh, right, so this is like her journal. Hello? There it is, Steve. Uh, hope I didn't wake you up. I just came home and was wondering if everything worked out all right. Steve Hi, Sawney. Steve. Yes, we made the deadline. Be like Steve. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, I feel so bad you couldn't make it. Hope you guys had a nice Labor Day party. Oh, yes. I mean, the band was great and Mike fell in the pool. <laughs> oh, and then Roy got really sick. No, wait. Brian. And then he fell in the pool, too. And... No, Roy. Uh, wait. Ah, well, I'll tell you all about it at work tomorrow more. Well, <laughs> afternoon. I, I won't be there for two weeks, remember? Oh, wait, yeah. But, uh, do you really have to? <laughs> two Dick move from Steve. Yeah, Steve, I really have to. But I will continue testing for at it. Oh, okay, right, awesome. Um, you know, I better get some sleep now. My plane leaves early in the morning. Okay, Meredith. Have a wonderful flight. I, I'll talk to you soon. Please tell me we get to pack. I really want to pack, but I feel like it's going to cut to it being at an airport. Maybe not. Thanks so much for picking me up, Mr. Coleman. Mr. Coleman? Please, just call me Frank. We're colleagues now, after all. Oh, okay, Frank. Thanks so much for making time for me on Labor Day. No problem, Meredith. Postal workers always have each other's back. Your dad helped me dozens of times whenever I was in a bit of pickle. Well, I hope I can fill his shoes. He hardly ever missed a day. I'm sure you'll do great. You know what? While we're en route, why don't we deliver some mail in our beautiful little lake town? And show me the ropes? Sure. All right then, get ready to roll. Stealth tutorial. Very impressive. Ah, yes. Cheap free music. We all love it. Don't have to pay a license, don't even know the artist's name, and you don't need to. It's a beautiful symbiotic relationship. It's always more beautiful than I remember it. I don't think I'll ever get tired of driving around it. And there's our first stop. I don't think I've had any strong lake based experiences. I've seen lakes, obviously. Oh, we're in game. No, we're not. Now we are. And I have to immediately check my audio settings. Audio seems fine. We're golden. All right, so now I need to translate. So obviously I, I am British and therefore we don't actually have mailboxes. We have, well, we have a, we have a letter, letter slot is, is what we have. Um, for some reason I have to look around shiftily. Okay, and we don't, we don't have mail trucks either. We have postal vans. Um, Just take your time, Miss Weiss. They never start a game until Frank Coleman has turned on his TV. Yeah, I don't know how to get Nothing in. Nothing too difficult, right? I think I should be able to face the challenge. <laughs> I bet. Didn't you go to MIT? Yeah. I left here from Massachusetts 22 years ago. 
Shouldn't you get a job in computers then? That's really booming right now. Well, actually, I'm. Um, uh... Hold that thought. We just arrived at our next address. The fuck is she wearing? This time, so you'll have to get it out of the back. I I I'd need to see it in action. It looks like she's got like a, a sweater on, an overcoat, but also something that has massive purple cuffs. I oh, know. I think it's like a sweater dress. I'm not really sure. Mm. Select parcel. There's only one. One hundred three high site. Did these folks order? Remember, this is the 80s. You know, this was not that normal. So, like, nowadays, you'd get to here and just sort of... You pick an Olympic sport and just use that to deliver the package. It it could be it could be curling. You know, you kind of slide it along. Could be the discus, the classic spin and release. Hammer, if it's a bit thrower. All right, heavier. I'll leave it on the doorstep. That's the last of them. Back to the mail truck. Hold RT to walk faster. Not run, just walk slightly faster. You know what I really like about watching baseball? Not missing the first pitch. Frank's a real dick. I've done this. You're getting the hang of it. So, where were we? Computers. Should I buy one? Uh, well, it depends on what you want to use it for. Bookkeeping. I always make a mess of my tax returns. Can't a computer do that for me? Sure, there are programs for that, but... You'll still have to put in some work yourself. I was afraid you were going to say that. I'll bug you about it another time. Our next address is right around the corner. See, in England, if you were a postman, you'd be employed, so you wouldn't have to worry about doing your tax returns. But apparently, because America is the land of the free, you have to, you have to do it all yourself. And if you get it wrong, straight to jail. Oh, before I get out, what time do I start tomorrow? 7 a.m. sharp. Just check in at the post office. Okay, Frank. See you tomorrow. 7 a.m.? That's a bit late for a postman, isn't it? Like, I feel like that's just real late, surely. What do, uh, that's her suitcase. For th this is Oregon. The weather is changeable. You need to be prepared for all sorts, I assume. Okay, now this is a big step, right? Both literally and... In fact, that, that stuff's fucking enormous. Four steps is like her head height. That's loads. Now, this is important, right? Do we think that there is proper animation for her walking up the steps? Or is it going to be her normal walking animation just slightly raising with the steps? Let's find out. Will she properly connect? Mm, no. No, it's not. It's just, it's just walking up an incline. Why give her why give her house such prominent steps when they could have just make it made it flat? Did they not have the technology? It's minor, but it's something that once you point it out, you realise that a lot of games do not animate characters walking up steps in any way. Hi Meredith. I just wanted to let you know that Dad and I landed safely. <sighs> the Florida weather is all they said it would be. I'll call again soon. One more thing. The freezer's stuffed with food and there's blueberry pie in the fridge. Bye. Blueberry pie. God, that'd be tough. I didn't get the chance to say it earlier, but thanks so much for being a trooper. I know you had other plans for Labor Day weekend, but nailing the deadline for added 87 could very well be the most important milestone in our company's history. Enjoy your well-deserved time off. Don't get too used to it. Just kidding. Or am I? I'll talk to you later. So here's what I pieced together from the story so far. She had to work over the Labor Day weekend. I don't really know what Labor Day is. I think it's the equivalent of a bank holiday. Good morning, Meredith. Ready for your first day? And she's she's gone on holiday to her parents' home in in pro, province president something Oaks something. Provincial, presidential, pres something like that, Oaks, by a lake. But also she's got to be a postman for the time she's there, which is her dad's job. Frank is also a postman there and for some reason can't do the job. 
and the the federally backed postal service of the 80s cannot find the replacement it is her dad's job to find it uh right Good ready to rock Frank. ready to rock it's a great day to be on the road I already filled up the mailbag in the truck, so you're good to go. Oh, I forgot to tell you, there's a map in the cabin, in case you get lost. Hmm. <laughs> Thanks, I'll probably need that. Bon voyage! Bit of, uh, bit of dissonance there, because obviously, us the player, we don't know this place at all, but, but her, the character, presumably grew up here, and therefore is intimately aware of the places. However, I will say that even if you grow up somewhere, whilst you might know the names of the major streets, you won't know every street and you probably won't know like, you know, where certain spots are, like number 102 on a street. Right, let's see, I've got some, okay. Okay, big lake, I'm getting that. 500, oh, all right, so already, it tells me where, where the drop-off locations are. I was thinking this would be like a proper sh map that I'd have to figure out where shit is on my own. It's also on the mini-map, which apparently I can turn off. It's a bold move to make your walking simulator dr make you drive immediately. Okay, let's exit. So that's a package for the general store, which I have to get out of the back. Okay, I think, all right. Well, shit. Well, we're on Main Street, I know that. So it's probably this one. On Earth did these folks order? I'm going in blind here. I haven't checked if this is the right package. I don't know how to do that. What up, bitch? Can I help you? Hello, here's today's mail. Mm, new in town. Your face looks familiar. Well, I grew up here and then left for college 22 years ago. Uh, 22 years ago, back when they called me Nancy Sinatra instead of Nancy Reagan. So now you're back, huh? I know what it's like. 22, so let's, let's say she left for college at 18, so that would put her at about 40. Actually, this is only temporary. <sighs> That's what I said too, a long time ago. I wonder if it's going to rain today. Nancy is a character in a Billy Joel song. Or any country song. Or, or weirdly, any Barry Manilow song. Now, I could walk to that next one, but because it's only short. The trouble is, that means I'd be dumping my van. So I'd have to walk back. It's really not worth it. I'll just stop immediately here. I don't think there's going to be any other cars actually on the road, so I can do that. Oh, it's actually over here, the house. Oh, well, now I fucked up massively. Uh, when people plan things, they think, oh, yeah, it'll look nice if we leave this bit of grass between the, the f sidewalk or pavement and this, the curb or curb. I don't know if there's another name for that. But it means that someone has to tend to that grass and cut it. And it's an awkward size and shape. Just thought you should know that. Oh wait, no, I don't have to I don't have to go up there for that. So this is 103 Main Street. Look, it's on the it's on the box. I remember this is the old Sugarman place, but the envelope says McGill. Must have moved away. Nosy bitch. I was wrong about the other cars on the road. There is one. Also, look at the size of these fucking roads. I, a place like this in England, the the roads would be like six inches wide in that van. We're very conservative with our roads. Read read incredibly cheap. I have mis misunderstood the distance on this map. I better just check. I can read and drive. Um, okay, so I'm over here. So I got uh, there is one all the way out here to deliver on E Lake Road and then going back down there. So I think I, I will go to that one far away, double, come back up here on Main Street and then go to all them. There you break. Nope. <laughs> and the horn. 
<laughs> look, a fox. Oh, look, I've got a journal. There's nothing funnier to me than that. Like, this is supposed to be a chilled back, slightly realistic game. Uh, but I'm driving like an absolute madman. And it's the only way to drive in video games. What? Oh. I was so in GTA mode that I tried pressing Y to get out. So this is 500 Lake Road, so I'm guessing they want the teddy bear. I, In hindsight, I do regret not delivering the, ted the obvious teddy bear first. Should I get coffee while I'm here? I, they should just give me a free cup, I feel. My, oh my, a few lines here and there, and the occasional gray hair, but by gosh, it's a savage bitch. Well, hello to you too, Maureen. Oh, don't be like that now. It suits you. Age only makes a person more distinguished, is what I always say. To the mirror. Now come here, tell me everything. All right. Okay. One quick drink then. I know you're busy, huh? Little bird told me all about your temporary meal. Who gives a shit if the post is late? News goes oh wait, no, it was the 80s. It could be important. So, coffee? Something stronger? I warn you, I will not take no for an answer. Okay, right, so... I, I feel like, given that this one says coffee sounds good, and that's just a straight no... The top one must be the one that means I want alcohol, but it's like I'm 17 again, Maureen. What? It's like I'm 17 again, Maureen. In that case, you're welcome, honey. Two coffee coming right up. And one piece of blueberry pie, if I remember correctly. You had one almost every afternoon after school at one point. Oh, you know me too well, Maureen. Are we going to do like a fast forwards where it, where she ends up keeping the job for a month and And Ashley, Christ. could you keep an eye on the bar for me for a bit? I'm going to take my break now. You're a real trooper. Yeah, is it going to fast forwards and my bad decisions have made that she means she's like overweight, people haven't been paying their bills on time. Ashley? Oh, sweet Mary. What are you doing? Oh, is everything okay, huh? Lord have mercy. Ash doesn't sound like a woman to me. But Ashley could be a man's name. Hmm. That didn't sound good. Honestly! First the roof and now this? Oh, that poor kid is I don't know what that is on the counter. They're like some cakes or something, but they actually look pretty Looks good. Like, I've got my hands full for a bit. like they'd be fluffy. I haven't had now. cake for a while, so suddenly it occurs to me. So I didn't get my coffee. I don't think she's really dressed for this either. Like, the jeans seem unprofessional. She should either be in shorts or shorts. Yeah, just shorts. Because of the post. Oh, Christ, shit. How old do we think Maureen was? Because Ashley's 40. Uh, no, not Ashley. Our, our girl. Who might be called Emily. I've already forgotten. Did it say here? No. I'm, our girl is, is 40. If if she went there when... And, and Maureen knew her order. It implies she was working there. So let's put her at... Prob and it was after school as well. So at, at least I'm going to say... 5 to 10 years older. So probably... Let's say fifty. Yeah, she. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I buy it. I buy it. I'm actually enjoying this. Yeah, you're driving around lush neighborhoods with no traffic, just slowly delivering. It's like the ideal job. Ah, uh, mighty Ambrose River. Yep. Oh shit! Nearly missed it.
So this is just postal. This will be fine. 102. Do I know these people? I'm loving the names of these places as well. There's New Road, Lake Road, and Main Street. It's very, very on point. I assume this is the house. I'm seeing swing set and cats. That's classic old people, isn't it? Like, a, a lot of cats. Like, two or three hundred cats. Oh, no, got it wrong. This is, this is the kids. Well, hello there, big cuddly guy. Cat mailbox. Uh, let's see. How many cats? Three, four, five, six. At least six cats. Like in the outdoors as well. Right, are we thinking really old? Oh, yeah. What is my name? Uh. Jenkins, right? I'm Meredith. Meredith Weiss? Weiss, of course! I, don't, <laughs> I can't help but pick every option that just doesn't rock the boat. She used to live in town years and years ago. It's Meredith. Wouldn't want the cat to get it wrong. Oh, pardon me then. You do remember me, don't you? Mm, would I see now I'm of the opinion that someone with that many cats wouldn't be offended by being called a cat lady. Of course, you're the cat lady, and you've got more cats than ever. Yes, I do like cats. Is that such a crime? Mm. So what if I, I misjudged the tone? Slightly more of them than I used to, like Genevieve here, and Thomas, and Oliver. Anyway, did you have a package for me then? Yes, here you go. It's not my job to comment on the package. Looks like another gift from my son. Still doing everything to get into my good graces, except actually drop by. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, fuck her son. Substitute for a real hug, that's for sure. Hm, bit of a nosy posy, aren't you? I know Frank would never feel up the packages. I mean, love. I mean, I have to take come on, man, and I have eyes anyway. I won't keep you any longer. Run along, dear. Give Emily my best. If this Come game on, fucking cuts to her in the house and she opens that and it is just an enormous dildo, I would, I, it would, no, it had a chance. If it had done that, that would have been like the moment. Or, or if it had cut to inside the house and like it was, and it was just like her on a, with a sacrificial altar. Is it a gas station? We call it a garage. In, in England. And we call it petrol. I don't know who this is for the benefit of at this point. I kind of just enjoy it. Okay, got a package. Now, do we think that that person there works here? Oh, I didn't get the package out. Or I should go in the shop. I should go in the shop because even if they work there, they're clearly busy. Hmm. Fucking acknowledge me, love. Hi there. I've got some mail for this address. You're not Frank. Okay, I'm seeing kind of. It's clearly a Ghostbusters shirt, but but they didn't have they they weren't allowed to use Ghostbusters. I'm Meredith Weiss. I'll be delivering your mail for a while. And Frank just gave you the keys to the goose. The goose? Yes. Your white and wobbly van, duh. I'm Lori. I'm Providence Oaks mechanic. She's like and twelve. The one who keeps the goose running. Uh, right. Let's. Uh... Well, Thomas is my father. Does that count? Thomas. Yes, that surely counts. 
My father has been teaching me since the day I was born. There is no one better in PL than me. And I have to get back to work now. There's like 20 people in this town. I, d I don't think that's a bold claim. If there's ever anything wrong with it, you bring it back to me, yes? Um. Well, I don't have much of a choice, do I? <laughs> nope. Did Frank tell you about the radio? No. It currently only receives the local station. Convenient. Plus, sometimes it cuts out altogether. If so convenient. Happens, just give it a big old bang on the dashboard and that should fix it right up. I'm working on it, I promise. Okay. Um, Thanks, Lori. Right. No problem, Miss W. I mean, isn't it a, a postal van and therefore like a federal vehicle and should be entirely maintained by them? I don't know. All right. I've toggled the radio. I turned it off immediately. Now, do we think, after I deliver this letter, it's going to sort of fade to black and maybe like... Well, we're only doing this for two weeks, so it probably can't cut out too much time, can it? Where in the hell am I going? That was the garage. Service station. Um, this one's a bit out there. It's in Bear Creek. But I'll go the way I'm going. Take the first right. Try and slam the handbrake on. Was Bear Creek again. Oh, it's a bit off the beaten track. This guy was just a letter. I'm thinking he'll be a freak. You'd have to be to want to live out here. Look, it's like an old railway bridge. I want to go in first person mode. No. Nope. And that's exit, that's horn. I've just got out by accident. I guess you can't. Oh right, Bear Creek, near the old lumber yard. I wonder if there's see I I need this game to have some bite to it, like it's got that kind of slice of life vibe currently, which is fine, but I'd like it if if like there was a turn, like Cannibals or aliens or witches. Yes, indeed. As of today, I'll be delivering the mail. Great. I'm Robert. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Will it change from lumberjack to Robert in the Here's subtitles? Thanks. No. Disappointing. Right away. Oh, what the? I'll leave you to it. Have a nice day. Uh, yeah, thanks, and sorry. It's not your fault this is full of bullcrap. Now, on the one hand, if someone, if someone, like, did open their post straight in front of you like that, and an arts like that, I feel like they're asking for, for more. But on the other hand, I don't care. And I, I, w were I the postie in this situation, I would think it's, it's not my duty to pry. Like, if they they want to let me in, they've got to open that door. They can't just leave it, leave it like unlocked. Essentially, this is not a road. This is this is literally a dirt track. Come the wet season, I assume this game has. I would not be making it up here. I think it's going to deposit me on a proper road shortly after this next bend. Well, there we go. I can actually see a bit now. Whoa. This is close to where I had my first kiss. Ah. Do we think man or woman? Uh, lesbians were still frowned upon in the 80s, but not as much as the gays. By which I mean the men. And bisexuals, as, as of still today, do not exist. I'm commenting on society, not my own personal opinions. Handbrake turn. Yeah. I'm good at that. I know how to do it. This is a sleepy ass town as well. They got like, what, four letters in a day? Is there no like junk mail? Don't most places get like, you know, some shit every day? 
or, or maybe she's only starting on like the the late shift who knows ah I think this is the post office yep uh, okay so is it going to be her in a house eating blueberry pie yes Uh, I'm all right. Job is okay. Doing Mom, great. Mom, I'm doing great. It's so relaxing to be outside and drive around. Oh, that's great to hear. Dad says it's strange not having to drive the truck anymore. I'm drawn in by the realism of that black and white picture of the child on the right. It's of a much higher resolution than everything else, especially that weird folding table. I think that's a TV tray or something. I'm not sure. I can imagine that. How is Dad? Can he handle all this freedom? Ugh, don't get me started. He went on two fishing boat trips already. And then there's the late night poker with his new buddy. Oh, I'm almost out of coins. I'm calling from a bar and Dad's ordering a margarita again. <laughs> oh yeah, they're in Florida, aren't they? Presumably on the on the coast. I'm gonna guess Miami. Don't base that on anything. Stay home and watch TV. Stay home and read a book. You're on holiday, love. Watch TV. This is '80s TV as well. Previously on Bon Appetit. Has anyone seen Henri? Yeah, he's in the kitchen unpacking the new tableware. Henri. <laughs> The audacity of that fucking outfit. Giant fucking like sweater dress with a belt for some reason. What is the belt for? Who knows? Wednesday, September 3rd morning. I'm really tempted to open up a calendar app now just to see if, if that if that date is accurate. Nah, screw it, I don't care. Kind of bugs me that you don't get to do the bit where you get all the shit. We're starting the day as we always do with the PO. Okay, so we got one the other side of the lake. What's that? That just says woods. Oh, you can fast travel now. Also pilot. Ah, interesting. Well, I guess I'll do all the ones that are located near me first and then venture out. Need to hit that car. What's it gonna be? It's a positive all the way, Jack. I went to Mo's diner yesterday, and I don't think I've ever had blueberry pie that tasted so good. All right, let's hit up this dead end street first. Thank you much, Dale. That makes me want to get a piece right now. But this would be called a cul-de-sac in England. Is that interesting? Not really. All right, so it looks like it's all letters. It should be nice and easy. It's a little kind of bungalow affair. I don't actually know where she lives yet. I've I've seen the house, haven't I? It's got those steps up to it. It was on a straight road, but I don't. Uh, same handwriting as the one I delivered next door. I'm guessing party invitations. Ooh, nosy bitch. I like it. But who would mail party invitations? Wouldn't you just go and like drop them off on your own? I guess in that if it's like a wedding, which is a bit more formal, you want them through the post, don't you? I don't matter. Oh shit! Oh no! Crashed. Does that say the Flick Shack? That's definitely a lesbian bar if ever I've heard of one. Actually, no, that would be the Lick Shack, wouldn't it? Uh, shit, where am I? On Main Street. I'm guessing it's this one. Is this like the counterpoint to Death Stranding as well? I've just realised I have. <laughs> that is what I'm doing. Oh, the Flick Shack. It's a, it's, it's a record store come video store. 19 candles instead of 16 candles. Very good. 
the maze, which is clearly the labyrinth for David Bowie. That one down there is the Terminator, but I can't I can't quite see what it says. I think it says the I think it says the Ferminator. Back to the present. It's a good one, which actually makes more sense. The B, I'm guessing instead of the fly. I've got to go through all of these now. I love every minute of this. this whoever like this this building is like the amount of work in this is incredible. So there's EG, which is LGM, the little... I think it says the little green man, which which is what they call the alien things in the, in Toy Story. That one's got to be the Karate Kid, the Kung Fu Kid. There's Gremlins, which I think it just says Gremlins, which I quite like. The Odd Father. That's pretty good, that one. If you look closely, you can see how janky it is. Space Wars. There's the Ghostbusters. We caught that earlier. That was a nice... This is now like an inside Easter egg. I like that. Uh, look who's here to... To save us all. Yeah. Uh, what's that one say? The Friendly Dead. As opposed to the... I'm not sure. Plus the Evil, evil Dead. Yes, yeah, the Evil Dead. Um, Repo Woman, which I feel like is is for Repo Man. I can't see what that one next to it is. The, pro hang on. Oh, it's Clint Eastwood. Oh, it's, it's the good, the it's the the good, the bad, and the duck feet. Uh, we got down lower. One about a keyhole. I can't quite see what the name is though. I don't recognise the artwork enough. The next one's clearly Superman, but I think it says Meh Man? And it's Superman 2, weirdly. Uh the Brunch Bunch, as opposed to the Breakfast Club. Al Pacino in Sarface. That's layered. He's had a scar face, and he's clearly the Russian Tsar. Blade Jogger. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. I can't see what that one says. I want to say it's it's Footloose or... Like one of those dance flicks, but I can't think... I can't see what it's actually called. Bunch of Space Wars and Superman 2 down there. Oh, Welcome shit. For you, ma'am. Hold on, you're our new postal worker? Talk about not looking the part. <laughs> I could say the same thing about you. You could, but you'd be wrong. I look exactly like I own a video rental place. No. If you were looking to cast a movie and needed someone to play the owner of a video rental place, you'd attach a picture of me to the call sheet. <laughs> True enough. N no. Absolutely not. She runs the florist or the bakers next door to the video rental shop. I hate having to go through this every time now. The baby in uh, in Labyrinth couldn't cry on command, so Lab uh, David Bowie does the baby noises in the in the in the song. I missed all, all of their conversation because I had to impart my labyrinth-based movie trivia. So your dream was to rent out videotapes? Not a dream, per se. More like a vision. <laughs> Figured in a sleepy town like this, people don't have much to do anyways. Might as well watch a flick, right? You certainly have a lot of them. Mm -hmm. You certainly have a lot of them. Choice is everything nothing quite tickles the imagination like the right movie at the right time hmm maybe i should watch more movies I lo the amount of work put into this oh, genuinely staggers me they've had to call me angie take all the classic just like this, posters essentially your alley. the postman always rings twice I've, i'm not certain but i got a feeling that's a comedy in which a woman has an affair with a postman Hilarious. <laughs> My kind of humor. 
Well, I don't know anything else about you, Mrs. Temporary Postal Worker. <laughs> Miss. But touche, Angie. All right. I'm not certain, but I think we're now lesbians. Uh, all right. All right. I'll check it out if I have the time. Take your time. This isn't exactly the most popular flick in the shack, and there's plenty of choice regardless. Okay. Well, it was nice meeting you. It's a shame you, Blockbuster will run her out of business, and then Blockbuster will also get run out of business by Netflix. Right. Can I zoom in? I fucking want to zoom in on shit. Watch the postman always rings twice. Okay. Susie Lee is in. Su no, Susie Lee, Lee gets motivated, or I don't know. That is a that is a reference beyond me. This woman in the keyhole thing. Uh, what else? What have I missed? Breakfast bunch. Ghostbusters. Actually, what was Ghostbusters called? Ghost Blasters. Uh, da -da. All right, I think we've been over that. Pretty good selection of films. Oh, what's that one with the teeth? Is that the? Hang on, hang on. The the stony thriller photo display. See, my first instinct was something like The Hills Have Eyes or or like Last House on the Right. St Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It got, does it have the same cadence? I'm not sure what that one is. I'm not I'm not a fay with that. Obviously the, the tricky bit is, you know, because I never had a local video rental place, I only had a blockbuster. When you go there, the VHSs, they'd be in the blockbuster cases, so you wouldn't see the artwork. And that was for no one watching this. I don't think anyone would have that experience. Oh, wrong button. I don't know why, the controls are just from it should be Y to get in and out of the vehicle. And why do you have to do the work of getting the right package out, but the letters it does it for you? And also, remember in the Wind Waker when they had that letter sorting game where you had to throw the right letters in the right bit? That was pretty cool, wasn't it? Alright, 402, Pine Street. I think that was the big circular box. That's not just the other one. Oh, that was right first time. That's lighter than I thought. Could be a hat, sort of classic hat box size. Uh, shouldn't send food through, through the mail. Basketball hoop, porch swing. I think in family home. Commander Grace, we have established hmm. communication with ground control. How do you wish to proceed? Just mother and child. Ground control, we have landed the rocket. We will now begin our experiments. Remember, this is the 80s when astronaut was still somewhat aspirational. Permission granted. Yep, we're the Evans family. Could I just take that real quick? I'm kind of in the middle of a lunar landing. Sure, here you go. Nice helmet, by the way. Why, thank you. I actually modeled it on the Apollo 11 crew outfit. Wait, what? Meredith? Buzz Aldrin? <laughs> um, I'm sorry. Who are you? What? For real? Y you don't recognize your old best friend when you see her? Love. Wait a minute. You got a mask on. Come on. Okay. Great. And now I didn't want to animate taking it off. Okay, which of which one? I want to be nice to her, but both of these just seem bitchy. Wow, I didn't expect to see you here. That makes two of us. Got me there. You're Kay Evans now? Don't sound so surprised. But yes, I married Barry Evans. Evans sure is a very common name. Star. 
I believe it's Welsh in origin. Mom! Be right there, Commander Grace. Scanning for alien life forms. That's my little scientist back there. She's crazy about space travel, as you may have guessed. Even after the whole Challenger thing. You married Quarter Barry and had kids? I had no idea. Sounds like you're doing great. I'm happy for you. Well, obviously a lot can happen in 22 years. So... So, hang on. So, she, she obviously left, like, at high school. So, she married the high school quarterback and had... She might have older kids. But if that's her only kid, and she sounds, I want to say, like, seven. I mean, they were married for, therefore, 15 years with, with now. I bet she got other kids. She didn't look that old, though. She didn't, she didn't look 40. Time flies. So, I heard you were back in town for a while, from Maureen. That's right. I ran into her yesterday at the diner. The kitchen caught fire, so your Uncle Stan is going to have a field day. Nope. It's Moe's diner now. Like I said, a lot of things happened while you were away. Also, I work there now, at the diner. That's great. Maybe I'll drop by sometime. Yeah... We'll see. Ready for a lift off. Right, I'm so sorry, but I don't really have time for this right now. Can't get stuck on the moon on my own, and I have to get ready for work. The hell is she wearing as well? She's got like a canteen. See you, Kay. Evans. <laughs> Commander Grace, hold up. You'll never guess what right. I just found. Right. So basically every every dialogue here is you not Try. You got the choice. You can become off as a dick in like, yeah, I'm I'm here on holiday. This isn't my life. My life is big and important in the city. Or, you know, I actually secretly miss it's a very it's a very hard line to toe. Oh, you've been here for twenty two years. Wow, what went wrong for you? She says. Should we try fast travel or autopilot? Okay. Okay, so the autopilot pilot's a little bit fucky. <laughs> this is strangely terrifying. I made the mistake. I, w I, I thought when I did this, this was going to be a bit of a slower game, so I was going to do it in like, you know, one or two or three parts maybe. And then I said to myself, well, it seems to be on a based on the day, so if you like do one day, one episode. But then the first one was kind of short, and now I'm here. This autopilot is so janky, I'm turning it off. Also, there's fast travel to the further locations, but autopilot to here? Maybe I never actually went here properly before, so it didn't unlock it. No, no, that can't be true. Oh, damn it. Push the wrong button. Damn it. <laughs> Fuck it, just, just back up, we'll be fine. Christ. Pulled a J turn there. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, get out. How am I not learning these buttons? They're really simple. Hey, mom and dad have new neighbors. Ziegler, huh? Oh, that's my house. I Look at the size of these plots of land these houses are on. It's enormous. They don't even really have like gardens or anything. It's just like, yeah, fuck it. We got we got so much space we don't even need to know what to do with it. And if that is my house, there's a dog house. And a tire swing. She moved away twenty two years ago and they kept the tire swing. That yeah, seems on point actually. Why take it down? Right, I'm actually gonna break this term. I'm gonna remember how. Yeah. Made a tick. No, they do drive on the left. I, I thought she got out of the vehicle on the wrong side. But that's not the case. I've just been driving on the wrong side of the road this whole time. What's that lorry doing going down there? He can't be delivering. No one got anything that big in the 80s. I don't know anything about the 80s. 
other than what I've learned from film and TV. So probably quite a bit, to be fair. Yeah, look, he just he just went the wrong way, the fuckhead. Oh shit! No, you can figure it out. Just go around me. What's wrong, Miss Jenkins? It's poor little Mortimer. He's fallen ill, I think. One minute he was full of life. The next he, well, he just wasn't. Yeah. I mean, I'm not a vet, but he looks fine to me. Well, fact is you're not a vet, are you? Do you know who knows about animals, though? Is Mr. Mackey. He runs the old bait shop by the lake. Throughout all of this, I can just hear that semi getting angrier and angrier. Uh. Sure, I'll get right on it. Here, little kitty, come on. Wonderful. Be nice to Meredith Mortimer. Don't shit too right. much hair in her bed but, now. But I thought, yeah, Mortimer's in the crate. Now, I could set the cat down underneath there. Also, fucking hell, look how badly he's taken that corner. He's cut it right off. This guy is trying to pull some Fast and Furious shit. And this guy is in his anus. Like, in it. I have caused issues. I was going to put the cat like underneath the truck wheel, but I might just throw it in the lake instead. Come on, mate. You can get by there. I'm sure you can figure it out. There's, a, there's like a country mile. There are motorways in the UK smaller than that. Probably shouldn't put that in the back. I feel like it should go on the seat next to me. Alright. Get in. Check the map. So let's see. I'm here. I don't know where I'm supposed to go because I've already forgotten. Uh, parcels. Well, I got... Oh, here we go. Maybe it's this one. Bring... Ah, hang on. Yeah. So, well, I've got to go to the other side of the lake anyway. It's a little bit quicker to go the other way around. But if I go... Yeah. I'll, I'll go the way I'm facing. Oh. Kind of just ended that issue for me. That was a bit annoying. I was, I was a bit happy with the... With what I'd caused there. Didn't mean to do that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna reclassify this one. Early like previously I thought, oh yeah, this is probably just like a walking simulator. This is a slice of life game. And I, that's that that's the genre I'm gonna call it. I don't know if that's a thing or not. I feel like it only really exists in anime, but slice of life is what we're gonna call it. Okay, so there's a little back road I can take down here to the jetty. Probably should probably walk from this point on. But will we? Now, it's very important I don't huck the cat into the lake. Bait, tackle and boat rental. Closed. I hope he's home. It's been the off season. If they're closed in the middle of the day and it's not that busy. Hmm. Troubling. Hello? Is anyone home? Wait, they had phones. The old bat could have phoned ahead. Back there, some mobiles. Ah! There he is. Look at his tackle. Very Mr. impressive. Mackey, I know you're close, but what? I'm Meredith Weiss. Yeah, yeah, Meredith Weiss. Thomas kid. I remember you running around Pretty the lake powerful mutton chops. AI, getting into all sorts of trouble. What can I do you for? Mildred Jenkins tells me you know a lot about animals and well ah, Mildred haven't heard that name in oh, years. Hi there, little fellow. What's your name? 
Apparently it's Mortimer. Oh, pleased to meet you, Mort. Hm, he's a little sluggish. Has Millie been feeding him cupcakes again? Uh, I, 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 I do honest, not know. I have no idea. <sighs> Leave him with me. I'll put him on a diet today. Maybe even catch him a fish if they're biting. With any luck, he should be up and running in the morning. Um. No. Thank you, sir. By the way, how are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. You go back to running around that lake, Miss Weiss. Okay. Bye, Mr. Mackey. That Bye, is Mortimer. that is the conversation I aspire to in life. Hello. Do the thing. How are you? Fine. Fuck off. Perfect. Ideal situation. These fishing boats are very odd to me. I don't have much experience with fishing boats. Oh, so that one, that's a bit big in it for this lake. That's probably for when, you know, his idiot staff get into trouble. So we've got one more package to deliver. It's on the other side of the lake. I'm willing to bet the other side of the lake is going to be like fancy and like big houses is that's what I'm thinking because this is a pretty nice lake the fact that there's like that guy it's got like sort of you know touristy vibe to it I reckon oh Christ I thought that I thought that place was on fire damn it so I bet this is like where all the rich people live the, the, the locals hate them but you know, they do bring a lot of income. You know, a lot of money. But the wrong sort. There's a big farm over there. I kind of want to go there. It, I, I wish this van was faster. Like, dangerously fast. Like, like if you go full 100% acceleration, you just always crash, essentially. A risk of, like, overturning. Like, I'm whipping the wheel back and forth now, and the van's just slowing down. It's... It's like they, when they program the driving, they're like, not too fun. We don't want it to be fun. We want it to be realistically how it is to drive a van. I used to think our Spanner Dam was just as big and famous as Hoover Dam. Then I visited Hoover Dam. Dam. Visited Hoover Dam. Impressive. She's had a life. There's a lot of semis driving around here. Okay, I was I was partially right. This is definitely the touristy zone. This is a motel. In England, we call these hotels, but we know they're motels. Okay, got a big old box of corpse wipes for you. It'll wipe a load off anything. Hey, Ginge. Oh, she's playing video games. He. Um, I hope I'm not disturbing, but here's a parcel for you. One minute, I'm busy. Okay, sir. It's a weird. The, for me? the sound effects are like a combination between kind of a Space Invaders style thing, but also that pinball game, uh, Space Cadet Pinball, the one that used to come packaged with Microsoft. Uh, right, let's let's yes, get... Sir. Oregon Trail Motel. You can just put it on the counter. All right, have a nice day. I really want to be able to look around and see what he's playing, but I can tell, look, you can get a sliver of screen there. Now, granted, now this is an old CRT, you could see them at any angle. Oh, maybe I can see it. No, I got the curtain drawn. I don't think they wanted to program the, the, the game in, which is weird, given the amount of effort they put into the video store. Uh, right, time to go home. Oh. Should I try and quick travel home? Or should I go and see that old bat and tell her that her cat's dead? No, probably not. 
to oh so you can auto pilot to places but some places you can fast travel to yeah it never actually told me to go back here I've just assumed it it seems realistic I'll end the video at the sort of end of this day when I choose to watch the film she gave me the the one about the postman banging ah end of the work day time to hang up my hat and chill off in front of the couch who do we think Very that woman high. no Steve oh, again hi Steve how are you busy as two peas added 87 is really getting there hey listen you've got plenty of time right um yeah I'm not I, I don't want to help that's nice for a change Awesome, I need a favor. I sent a bunch of files your way. It's the retail pitch for Added 87. It's good, but not great. It needs your magic. Do you think you can add it? Huh? <laughs> I, I want to say no. Hmm. Uh, I'm not sure. How many pages are we talking about? She needs about? to be more affirmative. It's just the pitch, and there's also an instruction booklet. Can't be more than 100 pages. I could just Fuck it now. No. I guess. Say no. Awesome. You're on holiday. How does he even have this number? Okay, Steve. Oh, one final thing. Now let this marinate. <clears throat> add it 87. Add anything you like. It's fancy, right? Yeah, don't, don't tell me now. Uh, I got a jet. Bye. <sighs> they are taking advantage of you, love. All right. Let's uh, watch this film. Postman always rings twice. Let's watch this. I think the actual film is the postman always knocks twice. But I'm not certain about that. Oh, Steve's parcel. And a note from Tess. Hey, Who the hell is Tess? Hope you're doing well. Steve told me you'd want to read through this monstrosity. Not sure if you really said that, but have a great time there anyways. Take care. Tess. I'm going to do my best not to do that at all. Well, that that was uh, that was Lake. I'll probably play some more of this. I can't, I I want to see where it's going and also Christ, look, the packages are picking up. Look, I can pick up Mortimer if I want or I can leave him to dead. Let's check so I've got an agenda now. Yeah. Yeah, so pick up Mortimer view the documents can i take back the the tape i wonder it doesn't say it on there but i feel like i should be able to how do you save this okay so there is an auto save a pretty good one at that yeah well that i think it's called lake i'm now not sure i want to call it lakeside but that doesn't feel right that was post woman simulator thanks for watching i'll see you next time